Hello students, welcome back. We are in the fourth chapter now of statistics that is interpolation and extrapolation and this is part one. So without wasting the time much on introduction, let's get started with today's session. So this interpolation and extrapolation, this chapter you have already studied in your first year. Okay. So this chapter for uh, second POC final examination for uh, two marks one question and for five marks one question will be there. So total you can score seven marks in, from this chapter even though you can score only very uh, like very less marks. This chapter is very simple so don't skip this chapter. Okay. So this interpolation and extrapolation as I already told you have studied this in first year. And uh, here, this is used for the uh, purpose of estimating the future values or values. Okay, so interpolation and extrapolation are some important statistical techniques of estimation. Okay, so in this interpolation and extrapolation, there are two interdependent variables. Okay, so two interdependent variables, it is not independent. Interdependent variables such as x and y. Okay, and the variables under x and y are x0, x1, x2, and up to xn. And again, same thing when it comes to y, it is y0, y1, y2, up to yn. Okay, so here x is the independent variable, whereas y will be the dependent variable. Okay, y's value is dependent on x. Fine? Yes. So, next topic is here to uh, like how to calculate how, what is interpolation and extrapolation. I am just revising here whatever you have already studied. Okay, I am not touching on the main topic here. So, here x and y. x will be, x is given as number of years and y it is the values. Okay, so now here x, 1995, 1996, 1997 value is not given and 1998 value is given, isn't it? So when it comes to 1995, 96, you know the value and you have to, if you have to calculate the value of 1997, it is called as interpolation, okay? You, are, you have to find out the value the, of uh, one variable in between the range. Okay, so uh, another example, if you have to calculate the value of one variable outside the range, you can say as 1999, if you have to calculate the value for 1999, you can say as in extrapolation. Okay, so if any value has to be found out, which is, the, which is in between the range, say from here, from left hand side, it is always it starts with 0, it may be y0 or x0, okay. So x0, y0, x1, y, x2, x3 up to xn, isn't it? So if you have to calculate the value in between x0 and xn, it is called as interpolation. And if you have to calculate outside the given range, it is called as extrapolation. I hope everyone understood this. So, it is given here the meaning of interpolation and extrapolation. So, there are few assumptions which we need to keep in our mind when it comes to calculation of interpolation and extrapolation. So, what are those? So, first one here is no sudden jump in the values. That means here if you see in the example I already gave, here it was 153, 167, values unknown and 200. So here you can see some uh, like reasonable increase in the values, isn't it? It has not changed suddenly. Say for example 153 for 153 to 520 and uh, then go to 1900 like that, isn't it? So here there is a like understandable way uh, the value has been increased, isn't it? Say so there is no sudden jump, okay? There should not be sudden jump in the values, okay? 
when it comes to calculating interpolation and extrapolation. And the second one is uniformity in the rise or fall in the values. Here again, same thing. And the next one is no consecutive missing figures. That means, now say for example, here 1995 value is given, 96 value is given. 97 is not given and uh, think as 98 also not given. 99 value is given as 200. So here two consecutive missing figures, isn't it? So this should not happen when you are calculating interpolation and extrapolation. Okay, I hope everyone understood this. And here another thing is uniformity. See, for example, 1995 to 1996, 97, only one year uh, at a time, one year increased, isn't it? It should be there like that. Okay, there should be uniform uh, raise or fall. Say, here it should not be like 1995 and 1998 and 2000 like how you want you cannot record data like that there should be some specified manner okay so there are two methods of calculating or finding out interpolation and extrapolation such as binomial expansion method and Newton's advancing difference method. Okay, so when it comes to binomial expansion method, you have to use Pascal's triangle. I hope everyone has studied this also in first year. It is there. And uh, for reference, you can go through that also. And the second one that is Newton's advancing difference method. Here, again, formula will be given to you. So you have to apply the formula to find out the value of interpolation or extrapolation. So let's start with the first method of interpolation and extrapolation calculation. It is binomial expansion method. So here are two assumptions which we have to keep in mind while solving the problem. So first one is common difference. So what is this common difference now? So here is an example. Here you can see 1980 1985, 1995, 2000 and 2005, isn't it? So here uniformity is there, isn't it? So 5 years gap is there, isn't it? So that is required, that should be there when it comes to binomial expansion. There should not be sudden increase as we always studied. There should not be sudden increase in the years or values, okay? So second one is missing value x should, uh, sorry, missing value y should be there in the set of series. So what does it mean now? See here, it is not, uh, say, uh, 1998, 3, 85, 5, 1990. Here it became interpolation, isn't it? And here it became extrapolation. Here it is not given as if say, they ask you to calculate the value for 2010, just an example. So if you have, to, uh, if you are asked to calculate the value for uh, 2010, it is not possible when it comes to binomial expansion. Okay, it should be there in the given set itself. Okay, to apply binomial expansion formula. Okay, so that is what here it is missing value by should be there in a set of series. Let's look into the first problem of binomial expansion now. Here, from the following data, estimate the production for the first, so the, for the 2000, for the year 2001 and 2005 by binomial expansion method. Here again, they should, they did not give any out of the box, isn't it, any question. Here it is given, say for 2001 data is missing and 2005 x is given already. Okay, so in this uh, table itself x value by x should be given. Otherwise it is not possible to apply binomial expansion method to calculate interpolation or extrapolation. Okay, so let's go for the first method now how to do this. First you write down as it is. Okay, the given set and once after writing that, now what you have to do is, you should give them the values now. Here, 
as we already studied x here it is x0 i told you right from left hand side you should start always x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 okay and a second when it comes to y series it is y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 and y5 isn't it so here one value it is at the end isn't it one last value is not known so just leave it first let's calculate this value what is the value for 2001 let's calculate that so to calculate that first you skip the uh, leave the last one whatever is there no 2005 just leave it so take the remaining set okay what is the value now how many values are given now 1 2 3 4 5 is it right so among this how many values values do you already know 1 2 3 and 4 is it right so now we have to apply the pascal triangle so how to apply that now so here known values 4 is it right 1 2 3 4 skip this the last one okay it is of uh, like it is not required now so our lambda value will be sorry delta value will be 4 okay so for 4 uh, what is our tri uh, pascal triangle value now it is y minus 1 to the power 4 is equal to y4 minus 4y3 plus 6y2 minus 4y4 plus y0 in is equal to 0 so how to solve this now you have to replace y4 y3 y2 with the values given now let's start it okay so here is equal to y4 is what is the value of y4 it is 130 minus 4 Into y three, it is not known. Right as it is plus six as it is. Y two value is seventy minus four into y one. It is forty plus y zero is twenty is equal to zero. Now let's simplify this. One thirty minus four y three plus Six into seventy. It is four twenty minus four into forty is what is the value? Four into forty, one sixty plus twenty is equal to zero. Now what we can do? One thirty. Sim. Uh, let's simplify this. Four y three. So now what to do? One thirty, one thirty. Next, we have already written this four by three as it is. One thirty plus four twenty minus one sixty again plus twenty. Thus four hundred and ten. And let's write it like that. Plus four hundred and ten is equal to zero. Okay, now what to do? The next step. Let's keep four y three here itself. Take this four ten to the other side of equation. It will become minus four hundred and ten. Now y three is remaining minus four ten divided by four. What is the value of my four hundred and ten divided by four? It will be one or two point. Five here it is minus right, so minus four as it is will take here it is y three value is one or two point five okay so we got the value of y three now okay y three here it is there y three now we can replace the value of y three with one or two point five okay. So once after this, we are asked to calculate also two not five, isn't it? We are we have to find out that also. 
So once after getting the value of 1001, see here properly, next step, don't get confused. Now what we have to do is, we just have to leave the first one. Okay, we have to ignore the first one, that is 1995 value. Okay, same formula, same equation we will be applying, but leaving the first one, 0, x0 zero and y0 zero values. So here again, it continues from 1997 to 2005 now. Okay, it becomes extrapolation now. So 1991, 2, 3, 2001 also, we know the values entered, 102.5, we know the value. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Again here it is delta 4. We know the value of 4 series. 4, uh, yes, 4 y's here or 4 independent uh, dependent variables here. So now let's again apply the equation. Let's write it. So how to write it now? Again it is Pascal's triangle. La, delta 4. Same thing it is, y minus 1 to the power 4 is equal to, but now what we have to do, we are starting with the value y5, isn't it? So first we have to write it as y5 minus 4y4 plus 6y3 minus 4y2 plus y1 okay we will stop there we should not take of y0 that is x0 and y0 okay so once after writing this now let's replace the values of y1 y2 and all so it is y5 it is not given the value is not given no so let's write it as it is y5 minus 4 into y4, what is the value of y4? 130 plus 6y3, it is 102.5. We already calculated that, no? Minus 4y2, what is the value of y2 now? 70 plus y1 is 40 is equal to 0. So let's simplify this now. So here what I did is, once after calculating this, next I brought all these values to the other side of the equation. Okay, so 520, it was earlier it was negative value, now it became positive. All the positive became negative and negative became positive, isn't it? So 520 minus 615 plus 280 minus 48, the answer is 145. So this is the value of y5 now, okay. So we got the value of y5 as 145 and y3 as 102.5. So both the values we could find out now using binomial expansion method, okay. So that's it. So here 2001 and, two value, uh, 2001 and 5 value we were asked to calculate. First we calculated the value of uh, y3 okay and uh, while calculating this 2001 value we ignored the last another unknown value and we used from x0 and y0 to x4 and y4 and we calculated the value of y3 okay so once after calculating the value of y3 we replaced y3 with 102.5 so when we had to calculate the value for 2005 what we did is we now we skipped the first one that is 1995 value okay and again here known values were 1 2 3 4 so again here pascal's triangle it became the same thing same equation okay and we calculated the value of 2005 here what is important is Pascal's triangle, okay, for a few, okay, known values like uh, 4, 5, it is very important to uh, keep in mind the Pascal's triangle. Let's go for the uh, second question now. So here is a second question. By binomial expansion method, estimate the number of persons 
for the ages 24 and 30 years with the help of the following data. Here again age is given, number of persons given here. Okay and uh, here again 24 we have to calculate, we have to, we have to find out the value and also for 30. Isn't it? So here what, was the, what will be the first, in the first uh, solution we will be skipping this, the last one. And in the second one we will replace the value of uh, 24 and we will skip the first one. Isn't it? So let's start with that. So now let's start with the solution. Okay and here again what you have to do? You have to give the values to them now. So always starting with the left hand side x0, y0, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6 and here it is y1, y2, y3, y4, y5 and y6 isn't it? Here in, while calculating the value of, while finding out the value of 24th, 24 years, we will be skipping the last one, another unknown value, isn't it? So here how many values we know now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So known values are 5. So here it is, known values 5 and the delta using the Pascal's triangle, we calculated, we wrote this now. Delta 5 is equal to y5 minus 5 4, uh, 5 by 4 plus 10 by 3 minus 10 by 2 plus 5 y1 minus y0 is equal to 0. Now let's start solving the problem. Here y5 value 39 isn't it? 39 minus 5 into y4 value is 35 plus 10 y3 what is the value of y3 it is not known right as it is minus 10 y2 value is 26 plus 5 into what is the value of y1 here 22 minus y0 is 20 is equal to 0. Now let's simplify this. 39 minus 5 into 35 it is 175 plus 10 by 3 minus 260 10 into 26 plus 5 into 22 it is 110 minus 20 is equal to 0. Okay. Now Let's solve the next step. The value will be minus 306. So it is 10 by 3 minus 306. Now what is the next step? 10 by 3. Let it be is equal to 306. Y3, keep it here. 306 divided by 10. Value will be 306 divided by 10 is 30.6. So here we came to know the value of y3 now. Okay, let's replace that y3. Let's fill that place 30.6. Now what is the next step? Now we have to calculate the value of the last one y6. And by skipping the first one, again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, known values, again it is 5, so the lambda uh, delta 5 it is and the equation will be same, okay, let's start with that. So here after solving, we should get the answer as 43, okay, so here it will be y6 it is not y5 i did the mistake here and i corrected it okay so please keep it keep that in mind you should not commit the mistake like this okay so here it will be y6 y5 y4 3 2 1 that's it okay first value will be skipping no that's why 
okay and you should get the answer as 43 so now we got the values of uh, we got both the missing figures or missing values so this is how using the binomial expansion method using the pascal triangle we can identify or the find out the values or find out the missing values for interpolation and extrapolation this is a simple method even like uh, non newtons that method also it is simple but compared uh, like when compared both this is even simple okay so practice with more problems so with this problem i'll wind up today's session okay so in the next session i will start with newton's method thank you